Chester, we have seen lately a lot of people are posting on LinkedIn and also those creating contents kind of gives us a, a, a snapshot of their personal values or what their values are. What tips you have for people who are not used to creating content and they are looking for jobs, but they are very shy and uh, they don't know how to start. What can you tell them? You know, I, I think building your personal brand now, well, it is always important. I think probably now more than ever, because as you are looking for a job, people are looking for not just your resume, your experience. They're looking for who you are. You know, what do you, what do you value? What are you about? What is your, as we say, you know, raison d'etre, right? And I think there are a lot of ways to do it. If you're kind of shy and you don't like video content, and a lot of people are, are not good, don't, so don't go there. Don't post video. I love short form content. Yes. You know, 500 words or less, 300 words on something that has made you curious, something that you're passionate about. It may be the environment. It may be personal development. It may be mentoring. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a great way for you to establish who you are to people that are looking to hire. Um, you know, if, if you do a lot of volunteer work and you're really concerned about homeless or, or you know, sheltering the mm -hmm. uh, homeless or, or um, feeding the hungry, I think those are great insights into not only, you know, what are your capabilities? Because I can get that from your CV. What are you passionate about and what are you doing to improve yourself and, and improve your neighborhood. And I love the short format and, and do it once a week. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do it every day, you know, do it once a week and, and develop a following, get some followership and, and bring people into the conversation. So I think short form video is great. Short form writing is great. Even a little campaign of your own, like we've talked about ours, hashtag find your gratitude mm -hmm. and you're posting a photo, keep it positive. Uh, I would stay away from anything that's um, too political, you know, that, that can drive a lot of divisiveness. And we've seen a lot of people lose their jobs from taking a, a stance on something that really didn't need to be addressed mm -hmm. in their life, you know, or in their workplace. So I would, uh, a cautionary tale there. Yeah. And, 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 you know, for me, one of the things that, that helped me build my brand more than anything is, is I, I adopted a color. You know, our, our brand is the carrot, right? We've got our little mascot, Garrett the carrot. And orange became my color to the point where people send me orange socks and they send me orange mugs and, uh, and uh, something that readily identifies yourself. Uh, literally, I, I never go out uh, any time of day that I don't wear something orange. So I hope those tips are helpful. <laughs> and I would say that I started three years ago with my phone, just one minute. I was posting a one minute tip, you know, I'm from Vancouver, it's a great place to visit. Today's tip is uh, networking or today's tip is contract job. And then it took me time to get more comfortable in front of the camera and speak. And then it turned into interview series. Now, I would say have a vision where you want to be and be consistent. And again, if you cannot post every day, post once a week, it will give you time to think, to write, and then just post it and don't think at how many followers you're getting or how many likes you're getting. Just post and do it outside. It will come. It will take time, but it will come if you're consistent. I, I agree. And, and, you know, you say, well, I'm not very good at it. You know, there's something about the, the, being genuine yeah. that, that supersedes all that. People don't care if it's <laughs> produced and you, it, it's, you know, beautifully done or the backdrop is perfect. What is your message? Who are you? And, you know, people are very forgiving of that and appreciate you just being who you are. So I, I love your one minute tips. It's brilliant. I totally agree. Thank you again for those tips, uh, Chester. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of personal branding or creating content, please leave a comment in the comment section and tune in next time for other great question with Chester.